Atchison at a stamp above.com coming to you live from Sarasota, Florida. Welcome and happy Easter to everybody. I hope you guys have had a fabulous Easter Sunday. Um, we actually shared, uh, we did our Easter yesterday with the kids. So that was a lot of fun. They had a good time. I'm just pressing buttons to get everything to stay on here. It keeps shutting down on me every time I don't touch it. That's very needy technology. <laughs> so we did our little Easter yesterday while the kids were here. And that way when Haley and Jared, they flew out this morning with my babies. So they didn't have to try and put that together before they left too. So they did go over to his grandparents' house and um, spend Easter with his parents today after they flew in. Their flight was uneventful, which is always just like, whoa, right? Two kids. Um, you've got Val, who's almost three, but she's a very um, determined and has her own ideas about things. So she can be a little, yeah, I love her to death. She's just so great. But she can be, she can be a, a, a little handful sometimes. Um, not in a bad way most of the time. <laughs> she's, she's the best. And Dawson, oh gosh, you guys. <laughs> they um, were trying to get ready to leave last week. Or, or the week before they came down on April 1st. So they're trying to get ready to leave. You know, um, both of them are working full time. They've got a ton of things going on. Haley's got all kinds of meetings all week at, for school. And Dawson woke up Thursday morning with a fever and feeling terrible. So they took him to the doctor, double ear infections. So that's always wonderful to fly with um, a baby that's got some ear problems, right? And uh, Haley says, Valerie gives me so much gray hair. She does. <laughs> She's precious and we love her just like she is. And someday I am sure this child is going to rule the world. I'm not even kidding. She's, she is a character. So Dawson had double ear infections. So she got, she has him on antibiotics Friday morning. They're leaving Saturday. Friday morning, Valerie wakes up with a fever and she is miserable. She had a blister on the back of her heel and it kept getting broke open from various shoes. You know, she got it from something and then um, it got infected and the front of her leg got just bright red. She was burning up with a fever. It was horrible. Haley said it's the scariest thing she's dealt with so far as a parent. So, um... It was crazy. So she had to take her to the doctor Friday and get antibiotics. And Friday night, I'm kind of on the phone or on the computer looking at all the things for the airline. Can we move the flight from Saturday to Sunday or Monday um, and just see what's going on and what's happening? I'm happy to report to you that Allegiant Air, which is the airline that flies direct from our little hometown of Appleton. Well, we're in Menasha, but Appleton. Flies directly to, to Sarasota, Punta Gorda, Clearwater, all the places around here in Florida. Um, Allegiant Air, you can reschedule your flight up to an hour before it leaves. So we were on standby. But um, Val started getting better and, you know, she was, she was doing okay. So they ended up coming down. The flights were great. They didn't have any problems. <laughs> Valerie was not quite herself when she got here, right? Kathy says, having kids, the most terrifying and gratifying adventure of all time. Is that not the truth? Like, you hit it on the head. And uh, she got here, she wasn't feeling 100%. You could tell. She just wasn't her spunky, sparky little self, full of energy. But um, we picked him up at the airport. <laughs> I sat in the back seat with the baby and uh, with, with Val. And um, we chit and chatting and she gave me the biggest hug and she just kept holding on to me and smooching me and it was just, oh, just melts my heart. But we're chit chatting along and I go, I said something to her. I said, oh boy, isn't that something? And she goes, Granny, I'm not a boy. I'm a girl. I am Valerie. <laughs> Kids take 
things so literally, don't they? And then before I forget, I have to tell you another thing she said. When she grows up, she wants to be a policemer and a doctor, but a policemer first. And Haley's like, I don't know where she got that from, but we think it's a cross between a police office, a policeman and an officer. So a policemer, that's what she wants to do. <laughs> she said so many funny things, you guys, while she was here. She had us in stitches. It was so lovely. Dawson is getting to be such a personality also, and he's great. He loves balls, so he wants to throw the ball all the time. He's really good at it. He just turned one. He can throw a ball, and he can catch it sometimes, which is crazy to me. So we had just a lovely week with the kids, and um, we did so many things, like so many things. We um, went to the pool many times. We enjoyed the Siesta Key Beach in the evening, which was really wonderful because we'd get there about four or five o'clock at night. We stayed for the sunset one night and the beach has like a lower spot right in the sand. So it was this huge little pool that was about this deep. And so we just sat right in it and played in the sand and had so much fun. Um, we were there last night and then they came home and um, what happened in Western Wisconsin? I don't know. Somebody said prayers for the families who lost their lives in Western Wisconsin. Audrey, what happened? I have not been watching the news. I have been grand grannying. So um, ugh, that doesn't sound good. So um, yeah, we were busy. We went to Orlando for a couple days. We stayed at this beautiful resort. Our room was just gorgeous. I got it for free with my credit card points. Woo woo! Um, we went to the Magic Kingdom and Val still wasn't 100% on it that day. But the next day we went to Animal um, Kingdom and she was on her game. Oh, I heard about that. I did hear about that, Audrey. And yes, yes, prayers to the police officers. Um, I guess I didn't realize that Chatech was in western Wisconsin. So I did hear about that. And it is very sad. So, um, of course, my thoughts and prayers go out to that community and their families. And uh, that was terrible. Um, thank you very much for that. Because I'm sure they'll appreciate the thoughts and prayers. So yeah, we did a whole Disney thing and we did Siesta Key Beach and we did the swimming pool and the first day they were here, we just benched out and it was so cool. Oh, and Sarah says you have to experience the drum circle at Siesta Beach on Sunday nights. Yeah, we, we, I haven't been there for that, but I can tell you that Haley and Jared and the kids loved the beach, just loved the beach. They absolutely loved it. It was great. So lots and lots of fun there. Um, what else did we do? Oh, yesterday was a big fail for me. So I accidentally left all the pool toys at the beach. I went back today to try to get them and they're gone. Um, so I need to buy new pool toys because they come with the condo. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. <laughs> and, uh, and I also lost my Apple Watch. Yeah. And I had no idea until I got home and I, I always plug it in at night and I couldn't find it. I always put it in the outside pocket of the beach bag and I think the beach bag tipped over and it fell out in the sand and we missed it. So I did a search with my phone to find my Apple Watch and it took me to a house down on Siesta Key, the island. And um, I went there today and they had my watch and they were so sweet and gracious. So I got my watch back. Ah! Thank goodness, I was really fretting over that one. The pool, the beach toys I can replace easily. This thing, mm, not so much, right? So anyways, um, got that back. And um, we did a lot of gecko hunting while we were here. We would go out and sit on the parking blocks where people like pull their cars up to the block. We would sit there and we would just sit there and wait for the geckos to come out. Then we'd point them out and oh my gosh. And Val would go, Granny, can we go gecko? Gecko hunting? Yep, let's go. We go right out across the parking lot. There's some, like, you know, some jungle, really, right next to it. So that was really fun. Um, had a blast with that. And, yeah, it was just, it was a fantastic week. We went out for a really nice lunch on 
Friday and Haley got to have her seafood. She had crab, which was delicious. And uh, yeah, we had no mishaps, no accidents, except, you know, the watch and the pool or the beach toys. Um, everything else went really, really good. We made it to Orlando. We made it back. Um, it's been wonderful. Today, we dropped them off at the airport in Punta Gorda, which is about 45 minutes from here, and got back and I cleaned the entire condo. Nothing got broken while there were two babies in here, which is like, holy cow, right? Um, yeah, got everything cleaned, got all the bedding washed, the bathrooms cleaned, the floors vacuumed and mopped, and and um, it's kind of scary because everything here is glass. Like this table I'm at, it's a full glass table. The end tables are all glass. <laughs> Little fingerprints everywhere. And uh, they're all gone now. <laughs> it's, uh, it's all back to normal and good. So thank you guys so much for coming in. Um, I am going to ask you to give me a thumbs up. We've got 378 of you right now watching me. Please give me a thumbs up someplace on your screen right now. You can click on that thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. Also, if you could share somewhere on your screen right now is a place for you to share this video and that really helps me grow my business and I appreciate that so much. Judy, I saw that you were the first one to share. I saw that. I did. <laughs> Happy to have you here tonight. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Eris, thank you. Thank you. Anna, Sonia, thank you so much. Um, let's see. I've got a lot of you coming in and commenting, and I've gotten a lot of emails and Facebook messages and text messages talking about my stamp set. Did you guys know that I have a stamp set in the new annual catalog? And if you're a demonstrator, you have been able to look at that catalog online. And <laughs> Nancy says she's exhausted just hearing about the week. I was in high gear all week. The one thing was though that we got to bed earlier, right? Because the kids need to get to bed. So we got to bed a lot earlier um, this whole week, really. So that was good. I was getting lots of sleep to keep up my energy level, right? <laughs> New annual catalog. Guess what? Mine came right to Florida to me. I got it. Um, uh, let's see. We got back from Disney on Wednesday. It was in the mailbox. So that was pretty cool. And it is fantastic. Now, if you're new to me or you haven't ordered in a while from me and you'd like to get your hands on this new catalog, please let me know. You can pop me an email at kelly at astampabove.com. Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. Pop me an email with your address and I'll be happy to mail you one of these catalogs. Now, if you've ordered from me recently, I go through and I, and I run a report. This is how I figure out who to send catalogs to. I run a report. If you've spent $50 with me in like, let's say the last six months, you'll automatically get put on my mailing list where your catalog will come directly from Stampin' Up! to you. But if you haven't placed an order or you um, are new to me and you'd like to take a look at this catalog, don't hesitate to ask for one because I'm happy to send it to you. Everybody's saying, what page is Kelly's stamp set on? It's on page 56. I cannot show you the inside of this catalog until it goes live to the public on May 2nd. So I would love to flip it open and share some of the brand new things with you, but I just can't do that. Yeah, um, those are the rules and I'm sticking to them. Now, uh, I can, however, show you my stamp set because I have it in my hands. Are you ready? Oh, I gotta get the light glare out of there. So it's called Friendship Royalty. I love, 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 love the font. Love the font in here. And of course, we've got some tiaras. And we've got, what is that little thing called? A scepter, I think this is a scepter and the little swirl, you can put a star on the top, make a little swirl for the little, you know, waving the wand around. I know, Tammy says, so you, the fonts are cool. Oh, thanks, the orange fingernails, they're a little brighter than I wanted them to be, but once she started painting them, I was kind of committed. 
<laughs> so this is my new stamp set and you will be seeing lots of good ideas um, coming from me with this stamp set. Exactly, Ansys. So you thank you guys so much. Thank you. I just think it's a fun stamp set. I think it's uplifting. It talks about, you know, kind of girlfriends and, you know, straighten your crown, um, if the crown fits, really cute, cute sayings. Um, friendship, royalty, I love that. <laughs> Haley actually helped me with the idea of the stamp set because when that was presented to me that I got to design my own stamp set for hitting my million dollars in sales, I was at a loss. Like I didn't know what to do. There's, I'm so all over the place. You guys know this about me, right? I'm so all over the place that I just didn't know what I want to do. I love making masculine cards. I love wildlife stamp sets. I love flower sets. I love all kinds of different things. One thing that I am consistent with, I love funky fonts. And I really think that this, this did it for me. Um, will I autograph? I think I will autograph and I'm going to have to figure out exactly how to do that, but something will be coming up soon before this is available to the public. So Stampin' Up! actually mailed this to me in Florida. Ooh, I should show you my card I got with this. Hang on. I've of course kept it. Ooh. Oh, I got two cards in the mail in the last week or so, and I can only find one. I don't know what, oh, maybe I put them both in there. No, I didn't, I'm sorry. Okay, so, no, I think one was maybe a swap. This was a card that came with my stamp set. It says, congrats. And it says, Dear Kelly, we want to express our appreciation for all you do to make Stampin' Up! such a great company. Enclosed is a pre-release copy of your million dollar sales stamp set, Friendship Royalty. We are so excited for you to have this set to enjoy, plan projects, and be ready to sell to your customers as soon as it's released. Thank you for your continued love of Stampin' Up! Enjoy. Cool, right? I'm so excited. I love, I love these little, these little envelopes. Like this is a, a set of cards and envelopes. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So that's what I got you guys. Friendship royalty. Um, I'm, I, I love it. When I saw it, I'm like, yep, yep. That's it. That's, that's my set. So I'm glad you guys are really excited about it. And, um, yeah, I've had lots of people ask if I would autograph and I will figure out how I'm going to do that. Right. We'll get it all figured out before. <laughs> Haley says, so amazing, it makes me emotional. You are so sweet. Um, while Haley was here, we actually started talking. She's, she's, she's wanted to become a demonstrator for a long time, but she doesn't want to jump in without being ready to do that, right? And having two small babies is a, a lot in a full-time job. So we talked a little bit about that. And her forte is scrapbooking. And she is an amazing stamper and scrapbooker. And of course, you know that stamping and scrapbooking together is the best of both worlds. So um, you might be hearing a little bit more about that as that progresses. So just, just keep, keep that in mind. Um, if you're into scrapbooking or know anybody who is into scrapbooking, we will probably have something coming for you soon. So. All right, I have got door prizes. Let me grab them here. Um, I've also got, I told you guys last time I was on that I have a new blog. And my new blog is still, um, it, it, you can still find it by going to www.astampabove.com. That's my new blog address. It doesn't sound like it's new, but it's on a new platform. I was using TypePad before. So if you type that in and you see an address that has TypePad and all that gibberish, that's not the right one. Keep looking for just a stampabove.com and you will find um, my new blog. Now, I just went on there tonight to try and change my host code because with a new blog comes a new platform that I'm not that good at, right? <laughs> So in other words, I have no idea how to change the host code. I have no idea how to do it. And so I'm going to have to watch some YouTube videos and um, try and figure that out so I can change that host code. But I'm going to have it on my desk 
and here it is. I wrote it down, but I will have it on my desk for you guys. Now, I talk about a host code because if, you, if you're in my online technique club and your order is under $150, you need to be using the host code. And um, this is the code. Now, if your order is over $150, you don't use the code because you're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I want you to have the rewards that they give you for putting in an order over $150. Judy said, what platform am I using now? I'm using WordPress. I'm on a WordPress um, platform with Integrant Services. They are my host, and it's a whole new thing. It's, it's very different from TypePad, um, but it's gonna be a lot better. TypePad has become a little scary because we feel like it's a little unstable. They're not taking any new subscribers. So if you wanna get a, if you wanna start a blog, TypePad isn't going to take any new people. And that kind of is like, huh? Are you going away? What's happening? So I couldn't wait until, you know, something fell apart. So I had to get a new blog, and I did, and it's been a challenge. Very time consuming, of course, um, to learn all new programming and all the new things. Like, like I have to be almost a computer programmer to do what I do. It, it's absolutely insane. You, I'm sure you guys can imagine, and you know the technical difficulties just with technology. Um, so anyways, I'm figuring it out, but um, I don't, I have I've been gone. And there's been long periods between when I am posting. So you know how, you know how when you get a little older and you did something last week, but now you can't remember exactly how you did it or yesterday? <laughs> you know how that is, you guys, you know? Well, that's what I'm dealing with. <laughs> so it's been fun. Anyways, so I've got some um, door prizes to give away. And um, Judy says, I couldn't do what you do with all the computer stuff. It's, it's challenging, it really is. There's no doubt about it. Um, does the homepage look like, yes, it looks almost identical to what it used to look like. And when I turn my camera around, I'll give you guys a little, a little um, screenshot on, I've got my laptop sitting here so I can kind of show it to you. Because I would ask that you go to my blog when we're done tonight and subscribe if you haven't, okay? And I'll show you exactly how to do that. Super, super simple. But I'm just gonna show you a couple little things so you can um, know what I'm talking about. Anyways, look what I've got. Ah! I got some of these beautiful um, in-color jewels. These are super, super pretty. Yeah, Sharon says, and just when you get comfortable with it, they're going to do an update, and you know that's true. Yeah, I know. And then you go, <laughs> more time, more time. You know, you can't get that time back. They like almost suck the life out of you. This is going out to Lisa, I can't even read my own writing, Maradillo, Lisa Maradillo, this is on its way to you. Thank you so much for commenting on my last YouTube live. When you leave a comment, if you're new to me, please leave a comment, just type anything, hello, it doesn't even matter. But once you leave a comment, you'll get entered in a drawing to win a door prize next week well next week i won't be live we'll talk about that um the next time i'm live i draw names for door prizes so lisa merit m-a-r-o-d-l-i-n-o or yeah i think that's right i can't read my writing close enough i know who you are and this is coming your way <laughs> okay also i've been gone I've been gone for two weeks, right? So I decided to do two comment door prizes. I've got the fabulous trim combo pack. Yay! I love these. I love this. I love the color of this. You're gonna love it. This is going out to Brenda. I can't say your last name, Brenda. It's S-Z-E-W-C. And Brenda used to be on my team, but she's not anymore. She is a customer now. Brenda, these are on their way to you. Yay! Then, for sharing the post, you also get entered in a door prize for sharing. And I have the Enjoy the Adventure um, Memories and More card pack. If you guys saw a couple lives ago, I made some fantastic cards with these. 
Um, I'm thinking Haley is really going to enjoy our Memories and More card packs for her scrapbooking, too. So, yay! Oh, Tammy placed an order on Friday. Thank you so much, Tammy. You guys know that I was on vacation. Like, I wasn't sure I was going to go live tonight because I was kind of having a rough time. I cleaned and I had to go get my watch and try to find the beach toys. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't made anything. I don't know what I'm going to do. And Steve goes, take the night off. It's Easter. I'm like, I know, but I wasn't here last week, right? And then finally, I'm like, Kelly, you can do this. Figure it out. Straighten your crown, get it together, let's go. And I did. <laughs> and I'm so happy to be here tonight with you. So these are going to Jolene Kent. Jolene is in Anoka, Minnesota. Jolene, these are going to be on their way to you. Yay! And Becky said, I'm nodding because I saw the Adventure and More cards you showed. Can you see me looking, hang on, looking like a fool? No, <laughs> there's no looking like a fool. And last but not least, I also enter everybody who places an order with me. Hang on, my paper's coming off here. And for placing an order with me in the last couple weeks, I have some um, half a pack of the beautiful designer series paper. So I've got a half a pack here cut down to six by six for mailing purposes. And then remember the stamps that was donated to me two weeks ago? Somebody had an extra one. And this is going out to Lynn Barnhart of Hillard, Florida. Lynn, you're getting the paper and this something fancy stamp set. So, yay! Joyce says she's glad I talked myself into being on tonight. I am too. It would be too long. I miss you guys. I have so many things to share with you. I have so many things to talk to you about. Like, you're my Sunday night friends, right? Exactly. Okay, let me set these off to the side so I do not lose them. Okay, now, I had two cards, but I don't know where the other one went. I might have put it in with my other cards, you guys, but I got a card from, hang on here. I got a card from Diane and Chris Myers. Diane Gan Gandloff and Chris Myers. Look at how cute this is for Easter. Oh, this was so sweet. And I opened it up and Val took it right away. And she goes, it's a bunny. And I said, yes, and look how pretty that is. She loved it. So there you go. Val, highly approved of your card. And thank you so much. I know I had another one too, you guys. Oh, I'll try to show it next time. But before I forget, I'm going to tell you, when are my heading home? Diana wants to know. We are leaving on Saturday, bright and early Saturday morning. And so I will not be live next week. Church service was canceled. Um, I'm sorry. Sorry, Trisha. Um, I will not be live next Sunday because we're going to be traveling back to Wisconsin from Sarasota. So just so you know. So that's another reason why I decided. I, I was going to reschedule to like tomorrow at 10 so I could just get myself together. Then I thought, oh, for Pete's sakes, straighten your crown and get on it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think we're ready to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you a couple things. Uh, let me move my iPad over here. Hang on, things are falling. And I am, oh, my screen is so smeary. I should have really cleaned that. I'm really sorry, you guys, but you, you know, like it's life, right? Life, life is a little smeary sometimes. Hang on. I've got cords everywhere, so that gets tricky too. I am going to put you down on, where's my turnaroundy thing? Right there. Okay, so I'm going to show you my new blog. This is my new blog. I hope that it doesn't look, it's, it's got spray on it or something, little speckles and fingerprints. But this is my new blog. It looks just like my old blog. The one thing that I wanted to share with you is the last chance lists are right here. Okay, and you just click on that. Every one of my posts now has a read more. It's just got one picture and a little bit of wording and then read more. 
Okay. And then down at the bottom, you'll see you click on next and it goes to another whole page of goodies. But the current host code is gonna always be right here. It's gonna update as soon as I figure out how to do it. That's what I can't figure out how to do. But I keep thinking this is a touch screen. It's not. Here's where you subscribe to my blog. And again, it is www.astampabub.com. You click right there on subscribe. It's gonna ask you to enter your name and your email address and click subscribe. Then it's gonna shoot you an email and that comes from Feed Blitz, I believe. It's either Feed Blitz or Feed Burner who runs this. And you open it and click confirm. And then every time I add something on here, you're going to get an email in your email inbox. That way you won't miss anything. Cause I do put stuff on here that I, that it isn't just repeats of these videos. So when you click right there on read more, that's going to open up this whole post. Okay. Here is my shopping store. You click on that. It takes you right to the Stampin' Up! store. Here's the last chance list for the mini catalog and the annual catalog. Both of these are retiring, I believe, on May 1st. So if you go there, some of our items are up to 60% off. We also have a color refresh coming. And all of these colors are retiring. And I have listed them out right here. Now, how do you go to the next block? Well, here's a bunch of links for stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, down at the bottom, blah, 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 listen to me. How do you get back to where we were? You just click on home right here. This will look a little different on a phone and maybe an iPad or a notebook, but it's all pretty much the same. On a phone, you're gonna look for the three little lines and touch that and it opens up menus to find other things, okay? The other thing I wanted to share with you, I had somebody who emailed me while I was on vacation and said, hey, Kelly, I'd like to get a hold of a Stamparatus before they're gone. Can you help me out? And always, always, always just go to my online store right here by this magnifying glass. That's where you type in a search. So you would put your cursor in there and you would type Stamparatus. A-R-A-T-U-S. That's talent, people. It says no results because they're sold out. And that just broke my heart because I was on vacation. I couldn't answer the email. And anytime you're looking for something. Now, another really cool thing to do is to type in a color. So let's say positively pink or anything with pink in it. You can type, whoops, not pinnel, pink and hit enter. And now anything that is any type of pink is going to come up, ribbon, embellishments, all those things. But when I go to the online store looking for something, I always type my item in here. You can also shop over here and go to the menu. You can see what's new. You can see what's on sale. You can join my team from here, which is fabulous. But there's all kinds of filters over here that'll help you shop or look. But This is where I go right here. So I just wanted you to know that. That's what I like to do. It's quick and easy, but of course you can shop if you want to. All right, this is my new host code. And I'm just gonna leave that right there. I know it looks kind of crummy, but oh, let's make sure it's in the frame here. Am I straight? Oh, there, how about that? And I'll move that out of the way. I'm gonna move you guys just a little bit because you're, I didn't center you very good here. Okay, my blog right here. This is the host code. Um, you can always find it on my blog. Again, it's not updated right now because I can't figure out how to do it, but I will. All right, did you guys enjoy the um, free stamp camp tutorial that I gave to everybody? I had a free tutorial for March orders. Anything over $30 got you this free tutorial using the Hello Irresistible bundle. So if you did not get that, or you can do a search in your emails, I did, I did email it out in a PDF file to everybody that placed at least a $30 order with me in March. So if you didn't get it, let me know. I'll make sure we find it for you. I also have one more um, sweet citrus kit left. 
Uh, actually, I don't have one, I have two. So if you wanna find those, those are in the right-hand column under online classes. You can just go there and, and fill out the registration form for that. The kit is $54. If you wanna add on the sweet citrus bundle, it's an additional $61 and I will bill you through um, PayPal. But there's a whole kit that goes with this that I've put together and it has um, eight cards, four different designs, two of each with the sweet citrus. And I'm pretty sure this is retiring. So I'm so sad. I love that bundle. Then Stamp Happy Academy. How many of you have a membership to Stamp Happy Academy? Ah, it is the best gift you can give yourself. And if you're not quite sure what it is, head over to stamphappyacademy.ning.com and check it out. It is the best stamp site for stampers. It is the best website for stampers. Fabulous, fabulous, four online classes every month, specials throughout the year. We have catalog kickoff parties um, that once you're a member for three months, they are included free. Look at Bonnie says, SHA is awesome. Joanne's on there, Kathleen's on there. Yay! Oh, the sweet citrus is carrying over. Oh, that's good. I'm so glad. Thank you guys so much. I have not really had time to look at all of the things I have that are retiring yet. So just know that because I was on vacation for the last week, but I will get my butt on that. Okay, are we ready to stamp? I am ready to stamp with you. And I have a fantastic card for you. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I have one card that I am making with you tonight. Um, and then I have a bunch of swap cards to share with you of something that I'm pretty sure, oh no, is, I don't think it is retiring. But anyways, I'm gonna share a bunch of cards that I got in a bundle swap that I do. So, okay, um, here we go. We are going to be making a masculine birthday card tonight. So I know that a lot of people have trouble making masculine cards, cards for the men in your life, the boys in your life. Um, it, 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 it's a little trickier because we have to keep them less feminine, right? <laughs> and uh, crafting is generally kind of a fem feminine hobby. So I'm going to be sharing a really cool masculine card with you tonight. I'm using the Ready to Ride Specialty Designer Series paper. And I wanted to make sure that I, this is a little sample, but it doesn't really do it justice. So I'm going to bring in, this is a specialty paper, and this is one of the pieces. Now you can cut these along the lines here, and you can use these on your scrapbook pages or your cards, which is really cool. Now, if this doesn't float your boat, that's okay, because we have this. And you can see that it is black embossed, which is really cool. And this looks like the, um, the nuts on a bolt, right? That's the shape. Doesn't have to be, but that's what it looks like. And I thought as long as I have this paper out here, I would share it with you because, like I said, it just doesn't do it justice. We also have this checker pattern, and again, it's black embossed. And then we have this cool boots and wrenches and gloves and helmets and all kinds of great saddle bags, all kinds of great stuff there. We have black embossed tire tracks, which are pretty cool. And some like metal plate type designs with the orange. We have beautiful flowers and some like Route 66 looking stuff, which I think is really cool. It's kind of like a map with some road signs on it. I really like this. Again, very masculine colors. We did that already. Here is what looks like Route 66. You go through the desert. It's got all these little gas stations and diners and things like that. And then wrenches that are again, black embossed, which is pretty cool. Luba says she was using that stamp set today. Go Luba! Okay, that's that paper I already showed you. Here's our checkerboard. And then we have these diamonds. One side is motorcycles and one side is the black embossed diamonds. So I just thought this paper is really, really cool and definitely masculine. 
and I had a lot of fun with it. Now, this is going to be part of my kit class for April. And the stamp set is called Legendary Ride. And we also have the Legendary Ride dies. And these are really cool. I haven't even used these yet. But we've got tires that you can dye. We've got we've got the you can do one out of like silver foil, one out of black. So you have the tire you can layer on here. We've got flames. Um, we've got fenders, all motorcycles, all kinds of stuff in here. Um, the fenders, we know what those are, but this little piece right here is a little confusing. That actually is the seat on the motorcycle. So you can make that a different color and put that seat on there. Very, very cool. Here you can see this is, you can make this all chrome and then put it on, um, on the stamped image, all kinds of stuff. We've got some great greetings in here. You are legendary. Ride on, it's your birthday. Classic, authentic you since forever. <laughs> this makes me laugh. Um, Dad, you're the coolest. And I love, the, I love this stamp set because, like I said, it's great for men. Men usually love motorcycles. And um, I'm making a birthday card for my uncle. I have two uncles that are big Harley enthusiasts. My husband has a couple Harleys. This was a perfect addition to my library. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, it is retiring. I hope I'm not wrong about that. I'm pretty sure I saw that it was retiring. So you guys tell me if I'm wrong. See, Audrey's brother has a hog. There you go. The other thing that's really cool is this metal plate 3D embossing folder. Now this is way, way cool. It always reminds me of those toolboxes on the back of pickup trucks, right? Oh, just the bundle is retiring, Sarah. So the actual stamp set is not retiring or the dies. Okay, it's carrying over. Well, that's good news because that would have made me really nervous as it's my kit class for April and what if we've run out, right? So thank you. Thanks for clear. Like I said, I have had no time. Um, I was being a granny <laughs> instead of a stamper. <laughs> but look at that. Isn't that cool? I love this, love this, love this. The paper is retiring. Our paper always retires. And of course, the bundle price. When you buy the bundle together, the dies and the stamp set, you get a 10% discount. Okay, so we've got the metal plate 3D embossing folder. Also... The adhesive back studs are part of my class, okay? I'm also going to be using this fabulous natural finish 7 8 inch ribbon, which is really nice and easy to work with. It's not thick and hard and anything like that. I really like it. Um, we're not using it on our card, but I am using it in my kit class. So all of these, this, you're going to get a half a pack of this paper. You're going to get a half a pack of the silver foil specialty paper with the kit. You are going to get um, la, 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 the ribbon and vanilla envelopes because this, this paper uses vanilla. So you're gonna get vanilla envelopes. There's four different designs. You get to make two of each card. So there will be eight pre-cut cards in your kit along with this, the ribbon. If you don't have the stamp set and the dies, you can choose to add those on. Um, half a pack of the ribbon, half a pack of the paper, half a pack of the silver specialty paper. We're gonna have so many things to play with. It's fantastic. And the kit is $47. If you choose to add on the stamp set, that is an additional $59. And if you don't have the embossing folder and you want to add that on, that's an additional $12. All of these prices include tax and shipping. So just so you know. Okay, let's make our card. I'm excited. We are going to be using pumpkin pie ink as well as our memento black. I've got a black Stampin' Write marker here and my stamp set. We'll get out all of our layers here. We're gonna be using these stylish shapes. 
circle. This is like a two and a half inch circle. And then just a larger circle from the circle dies to make a layer. I'm gonna get all these pieces out here. Here we go. Okay, I've got a basic white envelope. I've got smoky slate. I'm gonna tell you this is smoky slate. I'm not really sure. It could be gray granite but I'm telling you it's smoky slate because that's what I wanted. And all I have here are the um, assorted packs of cardstock that should have smoky slate in it, but I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> it could be either one, but I'm calling it smoky slate. Um, this is four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. And then I've got a piece of basic white that's four by five and a quarter. By the way, you guys, all of these dimensions, still photos of the pictures, a replay of this video, and a complete product list telling all the colors and things that I'm using can be found on my blog a little while after we get done tonight. I have to take pictures and do all the things. So just so you know, so four and a quarter by, no, four by five and a quarter. The front piece, which I labeled because, well, it's just a tiny bit smaller. This is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I've got a scrap of basic white. I cut this particular designer series paper. This one is one inch by five and an eighth. This one is three quarters by five and a quarter. My black layer, four by five and a quarter. I've got a half inch strip of the silver specialty foil paper. And this piece with the tire tracks on it, this one is, I don't know, hang on. I thought I measured it. It's probably here someplace. This is one and a half by three. I did measure it. I just couldn't read. One and a half by three. Okay, let's do some things here. We're going to take this piece, first of all, and I'm going to bring in a piercing mat. I'm just reading your comments here. Um, <laughs> Audrey's gonna do the laundry. I've been doing laundry all day, Audrey. I get it, believe me. We're gonna take our Memento Black ink and our scrap of basic white, and I am going to ink up this very, very cool motorcycle. It just looks like a Harley. So see that, isn't that fun? And we're just gonna stamp one end of it, just like that. So well, that's what we have so far. And then we are going to take this two and a half inch stitched shapes, stylish shapes circle, and we're gonna put it right on here and we're gonna run this through our die cutting machine. And when we do that, we're gonna get this, okay? Let's set that back in there so I don't lose it. And then we're gonna take that half inch strip of silver foil specialty paper, and we're gonna run it through our metal plate 3D embossing folder. I promise you guys, when I get done tonight, I feel like kind of an idiot. I'm gonna go through the retirement list and mark my calendar so I know what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna run this through my embossing machine. Now, one thing I wanna tell you is remember that the Stampin' Up! logo that's on here that's the front of your folder, okay? And I want my foil to be raised this way. So you're gonna put the foil face up and then put it in the folder and we're going to emboss this. And when we do that, we get this, which is what I just showed you. So that's fun, okay? I'm gonna take this piece before I forget. This is my motorcycle layer and I'm going to flick my marker. I want just a little bit of, I want this white layer to be toned down. So I just flicked it. This is also, this card is gonna be a really good layout. So just know that even if you don't have the motorcycle set or motorcycles aren't your thing, this is a really good layout. All right. Pumpkin pie. And we are going to take these flames in the pumpkin pie and we are going to stamp them kind of 
down this side. And I just want them to be very random. Oh, that's not very random, is it? We'll do that one a little bit like that. And we'll maybe do this. We'll do this. How about a little one right there? And I'm gonna do one right there and maybe just a touch right there. Okay, that looks pretty random, right? Oh, let's um, let's get the inside layer. This was our front layer because it's smaller. Yep, I'm so far so good. I'm still doing good. And the three quarter inch checkered is gonna go on here. So I'm gonna put this, I'm just gonna lay it on here. We're gonna do a dry fit so we can get some placement for our words. I've got right on, it's your birthday. And this is gonna go to either my Uncle Peter or my Uncle Paul. They are my mom's brothers and they are big Harley enthusiasts. They've been riding Harleys all their life. Okay, so we've got that happening. And then what I thought I'd do on there is I thought that I would add some flames. I'm gonna come back in with that orange and I'm gonna just maybe, mm, maybe do, mm, how about a flame right there? Maybe another one right here. We're gonna cover, the, how does that, does that look okay? I think that looks okay, right? I think I like it. As long as we're doing that, I am going to pull in my envelope. So I don't wanna clean any stamps until we get, get done here. Yeah, Jerry, you'll wanna go back and watch the beginning. I got some cute little kids stories, some stories about Val and Dawson and our week and all the things. Okay, thanks, Judy. Judy says it looks good. I'm gonna do my motorcycle thing right there again. So here's our envelope. I think that's just kind of cool looking. And then we're gonna grab our flame and I am going to stamp just a little bit of flame down there. Okay, we just got a little bit peeking out. I think that'll work good. Let me close this up. All right, we can start gluing some stuff together here. I've got my multi-purpose liquid glue. You can get this in my store. Oh, Judy loves the flames. Thanks, Judy. And I love this stuff. Like, this is what I use to make my cards. It's good for scrapbooking. It's fantastic. Fantastic glue. It's my favorite. Okay. Yeah, Haley was showing me her gray hairs. I had to take her over to the window in the light, mind you. But she does have some, and they're very, very fine. She says they're not fine, they're like pube hairs. <laughs> Is that too too much information? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I'm like, no, they're not. They are actually very fine. Don't let her tell you otherwise. She's like, you know. And it was funny too, because we kept saying, oh, Val, the drama. But I have to say, Haley Jade, if you're still watching, that was a little dramatic. <laughs> right? Deb's laughing. Uh, yeah. Val gets pretty dramatic about things. She's so stinking cute, but she is a fireball. <laughs> and I wouldn't want her any other way. It's not like I'm not like I'm like, oh gosh, I wish that kid would just knock it off. It's like, nope, that's my girl. <laughs> I probably antagonize a lot of it. Oh, look at mm. Put that over there before I lose it. I walked around one day with one of my favorite earrings stuck to my Apple Watch all over the house doing stuff. I was lucky I didn't lose it. It's like hijacking me. Okay, now we're going to do these strips. But first, we're going to do something fun with this. I'm going to take this and I'm tearing it this way because I want the white edge to show. So you see when you tear it, it's got a white edge. See that? Pretty cool, huh? And I'm gonna bring this down here and I'm gonna put it right on here and I'm just gonna glue it down. I just kind of want it to go over to the edge here. Tammy says she just got the bundle, this bundle this week. Oh, I love this motorcycle set. I'm really glad that it's not retiring, you guys. Oh my gosh, you don't know. You made my night, really have a little problem because Dina, Barb, and I are um, doing a class with the Rhino bundle. <laughs> Did you guys hear the dies are gone? So yeah, it's not gonna be fun. 
I kind of like to push it up like that so I make sure that I have my designer paper all the way over to the edge. And again, this was the one inch piece. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to butt it right up against, <clears throat> excuse me, I got like a frog in my throat, butt it right up against this one. Yeah, that reminds me, I don't know why my mind just goes around in circles, you guys know this, but um, I was just thinking that Haley went home and she didn't even have a massive sunburn. Usually when she goes any place warm during the, you know, winter or the whatever, she gets really sunburned and she doesn't care. She's like, no, I want to have sun, blah, blah, blah. She didn't get majorly sunburned this time because that isn't so fun carrying two babies through the airport. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so I guess she's, you know, she's got it. Oh, <laughs> we have to do this. So I told you I used the stitched sh stylish shapes on here, and then I did just a little bit bigger one with the orange. So we're gonna glue these two together. Get those on there. Just like that. Oops, I don't have it very straight, but that's why I like glue. You can slide it around. And don't you like the splattering on here? I like that better than just boom, white with the black motorcycle. Okay, we have that done. We're gonna take this layer and we're gonna put this on. The black layer, which is just an eighth of an inch bigger. See if I can get this on straight. Oh, I did really good. Okay. And tomorrow is Monday. And Steve and I found this place in Sarasota. It's in the Gateway Shopping District and it's called Food Plus Beer. Plus symbol, Food Plus Beer. I took Haley and Jared there and oh, they agreed the burgers are the best. What they have going on on Monday is $5.99 cheeseburgers with french fries and they're, they're homemade french fries and they are delightful, which I love. $5.99. I took them there for lunch. We each, the three of us, had a cheeseburger with french fries and the bill was $21. You can't even go to McDonald's with a family. And we had a family of five because, you know, the two babies. No, today isn't Monday. Today's Sunday. Margaret, today is Sunday. It's Easter Sunday. Tomorrow. Oh, maybe it depends on where you live if you're out of the country. Okay. <laughs> you scared me for a minute. I'm going to put this right on here like this. <gasps> what do you think? Isn't that cool? We have some embellishing to do. Margaret is not in North America. <laughs> that was funny. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> Sorry, Margaret. I didn't mean to be so, be so bossy. <laughs> okay, so we've got all these really cool embellishments and I am just going to pop some of these on here. I like the metal, because we have metal here, right? Golf gate. Yes, Donna, the golf gate area. Um, Look it up. It comes up on your um, maps on your phone. It's called beer, no, food plus beer. You'll love it. Okay, what do you guys think? Isn't this pretty cool? And it's really easy. The designer paper really does a lot for this. Like it's really, really fun. And again, ready to ride specialty designer series paper. I cannot wait to create, I haven't created this class yet, but I'll be working on that. I can't wait to get going on this because this is gonna be so much fun. So this is the legendary ride bundle, which is carrying over. <laughs> Thanks, Jackie. Thanks, Darla. <laughs> carrying over to the new catalog. And you just saw super easy card, great man card, great man card, right? Okay, hang tight because I have some other things to share with you. Let me put all these off to the side so I don't lose all my things. You know how it goes. 
Yeah, well, that was another challenge. When the babies came, right before the babies came, I took all of this, first time we've been able to see the table since we've been here. I took all of this and I put it away. So then today, that was another one of my big obstacles that I had to climb, is I needed to get out all my stuff. Like, holy cow. I, I still can't find my packing tape. <laughs> I know it's here someplace, but... Okay, so here's what I wanted to share with you guys. I have got a gazillion cards using the Petal Park bundle. This is part of the Regency Suite. So I remember we made this. I thought I'd share these with you. Beautiful, beautiful. The punch and the stamp set together. Love this, right? <gasps> Judy says, one of the best man cards I have seen. Judy, I love the man cards. I love to make the man cards. Thank you so much. Here's another one, just in different colors. Isn't that fun? This uses the Deckel dies. I don't know if they're retiring or not. <laughs> but I know the rectangle ones are because we had a conversation about that. And I know the Stamparatus did, and it's gone. So, <laughs> hi, Andy. Happy Easter. Okay, uh, let me get this one out of here. The plastic is hard to see, right? These, some of these are swap cards. Some of these I made. This is, this is uh, Park, Petal Park, and then this is the Regency something or another. Here, I had this open so you could see this. This is the Legendary Ride Suite. Isn't that cool? And then if I look in the front of my catalog, oops. Somewhere, this is the front. Oh, here it is. The Regency Park is on page 30 through 33. This is the catalog, by the way, that's retiring at the end of this month. And we have the Sentimental Park bundle and the Regency, the um, Petal Park bundle. Okay, so that's the cards that I'm sharing with you. I just have all of these swap cards and, I, you know, I. I want you to see them because I they're beautiful, right? Beautiful. Deckle they're carrying over. Yes. Woohoo! Here's another one. This one was really fun. Hang on, let me get this open. Look at this. Isn't that fun? See how that is a fun fold? Yay! I love that. Here's another one. I love the use of the designer series paper on here. This is a great way to use up your scraps. That's fun. This was one that I made in one of my videos, another fun fold, isn't that cool? Easy peasy, designer paper, punch, love this. Here comes another beautiful one, whoops. Oh, look at this. This is a little card, is that how, yeah. Oh, wait, look at that, ah! love that. And again, gorgeous, go oh, that one got bent. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Yeah, Kathy says she loves the Regency Park Suite. I know, it's so pretty. Look at all those little elements. You get this label in there. It's just so fun. So fun. Here comes another one. Oh, hang on. Oops. Here we go. Isn't that pretty? Some of these are from my team swaps. Some of them are from a bundle swap. Look at that one. All those pieces. Great way to use up those scraps again. Comes another one using the deckled dies. Very, very pretty. Inside too on the deckled die. Gorgeous. I really like this layout. Love, love, love. Comes another one. Oh. And another one. Lots of um, lots of piecing together, right? It's very popular right now. And another one. So pretty. Love this. I love the way you can stamp those images in the background. The lighter green in here is another stamp. This is a two-step stamping process. Same with the flowers the um, two-step stamping. You stamp the outline and then you stamp the inside so you don't even have to color them, which is really quick and easy, right? Love, love these. Okay, you guys. 
That concludes my live for tonight. It is Easter Sunday. I did not want to keep you too long. I so appreciate the fact that you shared your holiday evening with me. I hope you had a good time. Remember, I really appreciate all your orders. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up. That really helps me in the analytics of all the YouTube crazy internet-y stuff. And this is my current host code. If you place an order under $150, please use this code. Um, if your order is over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those rewards. This was the Legendary Ride Bundle. I do have a kit class where you'll get um, enough cardstock to make eight cards. I pre-cut it for you. You get some ribbon in there. You get some designer paper. You get some foil paper. You get those fun embellishments, which I just lost. I threw someplace. Who's going to clean this mess up? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get it. But I'm gonna take my photographs and um, get this up on my blog and try and figure out how to change my host code because I have no idea. But anytime you guys are stumped with anything, whether you're online trying to figure out how to look something up or how to do this, I always go to YouTube. So, yeah. Oh, thank you, Tammy said. The order she placed on Friday, she used the host code. Yay, thank you so much. The host code that's on there will still work until I get this updated, it, it will still work. So don't worry about that. If you wanna go place an order now, go for it. That host code that's on there is still open. Um, I'll get this on there as soon as I can figure it out. Pam says she envies our tan. Yeah, I am pretty dark, I have to say. I have, I've gotten a good tan and I have hardly got any sunburn. I've been very good about that. Sarah says safe travels. Yeah, just so you guys know, just a reminder, I will not be live next, next um, Sunday because we are leaving Sarasota on the 15th to head home. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little sad, but it's good, right? I know, I feel kind of like, I feel like, putting my head on my desk like I don't want to leave Steve actually said the other day he's like I'm ready to go home and I said you stop swearing at me <laughs> and he said I am ready to go home I, you, you stop swearing at me we are not leaving until the 15th we have rented this place till the 15th we are staying till the 15th if you're ready to go home get on a plane I'll take care of it he laughed <laughs> but I was serious all right you guys Enjoy the rest of your Easter. Thank you so much. Thanks for spending your evening with me. I appreciate you so much. Good night.